Shalom! Shalom, damn it! Shalom, Uracha! Happy and healthy Valentine's Day to you! This is Rabbi Saul Solomon of Temple Sons of Bitches in Great Neck, New York, here to share with you some blessings and benedictions and Baba Mices about Valentine's Day. Now you could say, Rabbi, Valentine's Day, Saint Valentine's Day, what are you doing recognizing a holiday named after a Goyish saint? And I say unto you that Valentine's Day may be named after a saint. It may even be based on the actions of a saint. But the holiday is so secular now, both heterosecular and homosecular, it isn't even connected to any religious aspect of anything. I mean, Christmas may be very commercialized, but it's still tenuously connected to the whole Jesus thing. TV commercials make you think it's about shopping and putting reindeer on the roof and listening to Bing Crosby every goddamn minute. But no. Deep down, Christmas is about a Jewish guy who made trouble and got nailed for it. Maybe the Romans did it. Maybe the Hebrews did it. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. The Pope gets to see it. He's 87 years old and he can't piss by himself, but Mel Gibson calls him a movie critic. Me? I know Fellini and Bergman and Kurosawa and Spielberg, especially Spielberg, and I've seen every movie Russ Meyer ever made for, for research. But do they invite me to the Passion? Huh? Do they think for a second that if they want to find out if the Passion of the Christ is offensive to Jews or not, they might want to ask a Jew? No. Who can they ask? Born Again Church Groups and the Vatican. Because these folks are really in touch with the feelings of the average Jew on the street. Yeah, we all go to Red Lobster together and order the salmon. What a stupid idiot this Mel Gibson is, asking the Pope for a review. Getting a pull quote from a man who hasn't pulled his own putts in 30 years. It is as it was. That's what the Pope John Paul was alleged to say about the movie. It is as it was. Really? Was you there, Charlie? Now, the Cardinals deny he said it. They said he didn't say anything at all about the movie. I think he did say it, but it was taken out of context. They asked him halfway through the film if he crapped in his diaper, and he said, No, no, it is as it was. It's fine, leave me alone, get me some popcorn, a Pepsi, and an altar boy, goddammit! But, uh, anywho... How did I get here? I, oh, I know, that's a, a Christmas toy. It's a Goyesha holiday, no matter how they try to mask it with ecumenical capitalism. But Valentine's Day, that's a fliggle from a different chicken. We celebrate this holiday to commemorate the love we have for other people. Love between a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Love between a husband and a wife. Love between a husband and a mistress. Please, God, may it happen while I'm still able. Love between two civil partners in Massachusetts. Love of children for their parents, parents for their grandparents. Even the fat kid with psoriasis gets a Valentine's Day card from a pretty girl in second grade art class. It's a very beautiful concept, begun as a pagan spring ritual, co-opted into a quasi-religious festival, and perfected by Hallmark. And so, as we approach this holiday of love, I hope you will all think deeply about the loves of your lives. The boyfriend who makes you happy. The wife who's giving you 30 years of devoted companionship. Maybe you've just gotten divorced, or you're getting over a terrible breakup, and the last thing you want to think about is happy couples happily coupling. Well then, don't, goddammit! Concentrate instead on the loving relationships you do have. Maybe you don't have a significant other, but you still have a significant mother. Or if not, a good close friend whom you love and cherish. A teacher who makes going to school all day bearable. Or someone you see all the time at the grocer, the bookstore, the doctor's office, who makes your day, or perhaps you even find a little attractive. Give him a card, a little candy, maybe a long-stemmed rose. It's all about spreading the love. God damn you all to hell. Spread love. It's such a simple message. Love thy neighbor. But most people are too goddamn stupid to pay attention. Which is why I am here tonight. I'm opening the phone lines. Dave Lefkowitz, the man who hosts this program, a mensch, a fine boy, he's letting me come on his show to talk to you. 
give me your Valentine professions of love and dedications and shout-outs. Well, we don't really have a record library here, so I can't take requests and play records or CDs or iPod thingies, whatever the hell those are. But you can still make a dedication. In fact, if I know this song, I'll sing a few bars in honor of your loved one. You can also call and ask me, the rabbi, questions about your love life. Does your relationship need a little oomph to get off the mortuary slab and back on the mattress? Is there someone you have a crush on, but you're not sure if they like you, and if you tell them, you'll be horribly embarrassed because it's a blood relative? Do you have sex questions? Don't be shy. Yes, I wear a talus, but I still know from Cialis. Yes, I wear a kippah, but I still unzip my zipper. I may hold a sailor, but I'm still a Mr. Vega. So, love, sex, heartbreak, social diseases, you got questions, I've got dogmatic answers. So call me, 631-888-8811, ask the rabbi. Area code 631-888-8811. I'm here waiting for your call. Just think of me as uh, Dear Abby or Ann Landers, only with less facial hair. 631-888-8811, please don't use any bad language. We don't want the FCC crucifying me. And since this is radio, you may expose one of your nipples, but God's sake, don't tell me which one. 631-888-8811. We're going to play a little music while you're calling in, and uh, the engineer is lining everybody up. If you get a busy signal, please call back. I am here to talk to you because, God damn it, be my valentine. Shalom, shalom, Mubrakha. This is Rabbi Saul Solomon on the Dave's Gone By Radio program. We're taking your Valentine's Day phone call, 631-888-8811, area code 631-888-8811. I believe we have a caller who's calling, please. Hi. Hello. Who is this? I just want to wish my daughter, Deborah, my son-in-law, Bobby, and my beautiful grandson, Alex, a very happy Valentine's Day. That I also is... want to wish my nephew, David. I son of a bitch, it's a relative. <laughs> it's a goddamn, goddamn goddamn relative. God damn it. <laughs> but I'm, I thank you so much for calling in, damn it. No, but, but this is great. And, uh, you know, I, I wish them all a happy Valentine's Day, even though, you know, there's some of them are goyish that you mentioned there. But let me ask you, ask me a question, a question about love, about sex, about anything you want. Why are you cursing so much? I'm, ah, did, uh, for last, a rabbi to be cursing is not very nice. Well, what is cursing? Cursing is taking the Lord's name in vain. Is that right? This is the thing that the Bible prohibits. You do not take the Lord's name in vain. But what they mean by this is not throwing the word God around, God damn it, Jesus Christ, all these kinds of... No. It's about using that as part of an oath, about saying, oh, I swear to God that I saw this accident happen and he was at fault, when really, you know, you can't use God in that kind of witness situation. That's taking a name in vain. Just throwing the word around, it's a word. It's a bunch of letters put together. They're not nice letters. Well, they're not nice letters. Look, look at James Brown. Well, don't look at James Brown. But look at James Brown. <laughs> For 50 years, what has he been doing? Funk. He's been, F-U-N-K. He's been beating up his wife. He's been beating up... Did you see they were on the... the they were on stage together again. Like two weeks after he's beaten the crap out of it, they're back on stage and they're singing together. He's like, take my hand, take, uh, take my hand, uh, take my hand. She won't take his hand. or she, He's telling her to take his hand. I'm amazing and smack her again with a mic stand. God damn it. Rabbi Solomon, I do have to go. I have some things I have to You do. don't have to go. I have to kill ten more minutes of this goddamn bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me another question. <laughs> Come on. I know you have it in you. You must have had it in you at least once. You have one child. What is your wife's name? What is oh, my dear wife, Miriam Libby. Miriam Libby. Miriam Libby. Oh, my beautiful Miriam Libby. And we have uh, about 18 and a half children with several more on the way. What was her maiden name? She didn't... <laughs> I'm not sure I can answer that one on the air. See, her maiden name was actually an American curse word. I don't know how this happened, but somewhere in the Romanian homeland, uh, that word is no problem. But if I say it on the air, the FCC will hurt me. 
Yeah, I don't know how she got this name, but there you go. Well, then let's not go there. Yeah, in fr- the f- it's a compound word. The first uh, part is mother. I don't know how she got this last name is beyond me. I think I'm going to have to leave you now. My darling little grandson is asking for me. Ah, uh, this is. Do you want to put him on the air? Do you, do you want to talk to a rabbi and get a blessing? I don't think he'd be able to talk to you too well. Why? Well, because he was baptized. God damn it! Uh, Rabbi Solomon, let's not. <laughs> All right, I won't go there. I won't go there. Okay. All right. All right Thank I'm you. I'm going to have to hang up now. Hashem bless you. Thank you, and you and your family for calling in. And have a wonderful Valentine's Day full of love and joy and peace and blessings to you and everyone you know. And wish you and your wife, Miriam Libby, a very happy Valentine's And don't forget our 18 and a half children with several and more on the way. especially the half. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, good. We had two phone calls today. All right. I think, okay, she's gone. You, you, uh, well, a couple more minutes of this segment. Let's see if we can get another phone call. Area code 631 888 Try it again. Six, say, say it with me. Why don't you say it with me? I, I would say it in Hebrew, but I'm so flustered, I don't remember what the Hebrew thing is. 888 eight, 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 one one. If you're reading the number in Hebrew, it's one one eight 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 eight, and uh, the area code is one three six. But we're reading it in English from left to oh, we have another phone call. It's ringing. It's dialing. It's boiling. It's bubbling. Engineer Trevor is taking the call. He's saying, "How you doing?" He's saying, "Okay, hold on one moment." He's putting the caller on hold. I think he's putting the caller through. Shalom Racha, you're here with Rabbi Sal Solomon on the Dave's Gone By Show. Who am I talking to, please? Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom. Oh, God damn it, three red God damn it, God damn it, God damn it, God damn it the hell. What are you? <laughs> what kind of rabbi are you? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Uh, but thank you for calling. Thank you for. Do you have a question? A Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of rabbi uses <laughs> this kind of language? <laughs> this kind of rabbi, a rabbi who who, who runs temple, sons of bitches, and Great Neck, New York. That kind of a real rabbi, a rabbi who says what he thinks and thinks what he says and talks I have a real. I'm feeling this is a rabbi that doesn't think at all. <laughs> hey, Megan, Megan, I'm supposed to be landing all the jokes here. What's wrong with you there? So, so tell me something. Are you, what, are you, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, thanking my lucky stars that I got the Valentine that I got. Okay. She's quite an unusual person. All right. Well, was she missing a leg or something? What do you mean? <laughs> She's so sweet and good and nice and kind. Good. I, I know this person of whom you're speaking. You are, you are absolutely correct. She's you better fantastic. believe God it. God damn it. Yes, she is. She is. And what is your name, by the way? <laughs> you're afraid to be seen with me on public airwaves? <laughs> you got it. Ay, God damn it. Well, anyway, I want to thank you and wish you a most happy and beloved and joyous uh, Valentine's Day. What, what, what is the best Valentine's Day gift you ever got? Oh. <laughs> I used to wear them. I am not sure I want to hear this. What is it? Yeah, you, I don't know if you remember. No, I wouldn't remember. Maybe <laughs> Dave would remember, but I'm a rabbi. I do not <laughs> live your life. What was the gift? Uh, probably, let's see, what was... I don't know. I, I, it's kind of hard to say. Was the best? Yeah, the best gift. I'm, I'm, while, you're, while you're thinking, I'm signaling... Uh, to get the outro music ready because we've actually killed the time in a segment. God bless my relatives. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> well, I still remember the shorts covered with hearts, the red shorts covered with hearts and bunnies and stuff. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> yes, that was <laughs> the usual reaction. You're accusing me of obscenity and you're wearing shorts with red hearts. How old are you? <laughs> no, I don't wear them anymore. God damn it. All right. Well, any, you are a male, right? Yes. Uh, last you checked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. You found it. All right. I'm, I'm impressed. And what? <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. I want to thank you so much for calling in. And, uh, and again, happy Valentine's to you. And uh, my dear listeners, it has been such a delight to hear from all three of you. God damn it. 
A joy Hashem, my years of experience. Will you dump this guy off the line, first of all? Thank you for calling in. Goodbye, listener. I'll see you in a couple of days because we're related. All right. Uh, joy to share with you. I just want to wish you all a most happy and healthy Valentine's Day, full of nachas and love and caring and appreciation. Of course, I have to send out my own box of kosher chocolates to my dear wife Miriam Libby and hugs and kisses and candy hearts made with vegetable shortening to our children. Nehemiah, Josiah, Shloimi, Chana, Rivki, Yehuda, Moish, Yechezkiel, Borach, Avigda, Yisroel, Hepzibah, Shol, Aliza, Shimon, Gedalia, Naftuli, and Fred by my first marriage, and one and a half more on the way. As always, I'd like to leave you with a little poem. Roses are red, prostates are not. If you ain't in love, then love what you got. Tulips are light, compost is heavy. If you've got a problem, then just ask the Rebbe. This is Rabbi Yisrael Solomon saying Shalom Uvracha from every one of me to every one of you.